Hello guys, in this tutorial we want to create our Angular app. First of all, open up the VS Code, then go to the terminal menu and click on new terminal. As you can see, the default profile of VS Code's terminal is set on CMD. We want to set the default profile to git bash because our commands will be similar to macOS and Linux based operating systems. Click on this arrow icon and click on select default profile and select git bash. Click on plus icon as you can see, our profile is set to bash. Kill the previous terminal that was set on CMD. Now we want to create the projects folder. Go to the desktop directory, create foodmine folder, then go inside it. Now we want to install Angular CLI as a global package on our system. So write npm install dash g that means global package angular for slash cli and press enter now we want to verify that ng cli is installed on our computer successfully we need to write ng dash dash version by seeing this red angular cli on our terminal we can make sure that it is installed successfully now open up the project folder inside the vs code by writing code dot you will see a new instance of vs code on your screen ignore or close the previous instance and start working with the new instance once again go to the terminal menu and click on new terminal and create your Angular app with the name of frontend inside the Foodmine folder by writing ng-new frontend. But there is an argument for skipping all the tests. We don't want to use any test inside this project, so it's better to use this argument by writing skip-tests. Then press enter. We want to have angular routing, so we press Y to say yes. Then press enter to use CSS as default style sheet for our project. Go to the frontend folder by writing CD frontend. Now for serving our angular application inside the browser, we need to write ng serve dash o. And dash o means open it up inside the browser after building. Then press enter. Now if this page automatically opened up inside your browser, it means that you are ready for the next video that is about adding header to our project. In this optional but important video, I want to tell you how to push your changes to the GitHub. But first of all, we need to remove Git from the frontends folder. Because when you generate a new Angular project, there is a Git folder inside it. But we want to remove it because the frontend folder is part of the Foodmine folder. In future, we're going to have a backend folder here. So the changes shouldn't be tracked only inside the frontend. It should be tracked in the whole Foodmine project. For removing Git folder from the frontend folder, click on terminal menu and new terminal. Go inside the frontend folder, then write rm-rf.git to remove the git folder and everything inside it. Press enter, then close the terminal. Come to the source control tab and click on initialize repository. As you can see, it tracked all the changes, but this time from the root folder, not from the frontend folder. That's what we want. Let's write the commit message, create, Angular app. Then click on commit button to commit your changes. It says that GitHub extension wants to sign in with GitHub. Click allo. As you can see, it will open up a new page inside your browser to get the authorization from you. Click on continue. Then click on open Visual Studio code. Set the name of your repository. I want to set it to Foodmine course here. Then you can select whether you want to push your project 
to a public or private repository. I want to push this project on a public repository, so I choose the second one. This will automatically create a new repository inside your GitHub, and you don't even need to do it from the GitHub website. Now we can click on open on GitHub to see our repository inside the GitHub's website. As you can see, we have our commit message and we have our project here. From this moment, I will push all the code changes in each video to the GitHub as a separate commit. So you can see exactly what happened on each video. Okay, this was for this video. You've been watching Code with Nasir and I hope to see you next time.